In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who made your people partakers in your redemption, grant, we pray, that we may perpetually render thanks for the resurrection of the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. <clears throat> there he met a Jew named Aquila, a native of Pontus, who had recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla because Claudius had ordered all the Jews to leave Rome. He went to visit them, and because he practiced the same trade, stayed with them and worked, for they were tent makers by trade. Every Sabbath he entered into discussion in the synagogue, attempting to convince both Jews and Greeks. When Silas and Timothy came down from Macedonia, Paul began to occupy himself totally with preaching the word, testifying to the Jews that the Christ was Jesus. When they opposed him and reviled him, he shook out his garments and said to them, Your blood be on your heads. I am clear of responsibility. From now on, I will go to the Gentiles. So he left there and went to a house belonging to a man named Titus Justus, a worshiper of God. His house was next to a synagogue. Crispus, the synagogue official, came to believe in the Lord along with his entire household, and many of the Corinthians who heard, believed, and were baptized. The word of the Lord. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. 
All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I will not leave you orphans, says the Lord. I will come back to you, and your hearts will rejoice. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, A little while, and you will no longer see me. And again, a little while later, and you will see me. So some of his disciples said to one another, What does this mean that he is saying to us, A little while, and you will not see me. And again, a little while and you will see me. And because I am going to the Father, so they said, what is this little while of which he speaks? We do not know what he means. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him, so he said to them, are you discussing with one another what I said? A little while and you will not see me, and again a little while, and you will see me? Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. The Gospel of the Lord. So the responsorial psalm obviously comes before the time of Jesus Christ. And God manifested himself. He revealed himself. He was acting in the lives of the Jewish people. And what this psalm says, sing to the Lord, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him. The Lord has made <coughs> his salvation known. And so... All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. So God revealed himself as one who acted on their behalf, acted for them to bring salvation, to free them. But the Jewish people were waiting, expecting a Messiah, a Savior. And so generation after generation, the different prophets spoke about different aspects of this Savior. And people were expecting, especially around the time of Jesus, that this Savior would come. Exactly how or who, they didn't know. And so, when we hear the preaching of Paul, when he's preaching to the Jews, it says, every Sabbath he entered into discussion in the synagogues, attempting to convince both Jews and Greeks testifying to the Jews that the Christ was Jesus. This is basically what he's announcing to the Jewish people, the Savior that has been foretold, the Savior that we were expecting. Is this Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ is this Savior. And it meant everything. If Jesus is the Savior, it means he is who he says he is. 
he also preaches to the Gentiles. <coughs> to them, he says, from now on I will go to the Gentiles. And Crispus, the synagogue official, came to believe in the Lord. And so, also that Jesus is the Lord, that Jesus is God. And so to believe this message, that this Jesus is God, it affects everything. It affects how we look at life. It affects how we live our life to say that this is God. This Jesus is God. It's the one to whom I worship. It's the one to whom I recognize as God. So when Paul's doing this announcement, and it tells us that every Sabbath he entered into discussions and it says that testifying to the Jews that the Christ was Jesus, when they opposed him and reviled him, he shook out his garments and said to them, your blood be on your own heads. I am clear of responsibility. From now on, I will go to the Gentiles. And so likewise, to reject this announcement, not to believe this word, it's, it changes everything. It changes how we live, how we think. And so, it's a fundamental question. Who is Jesus Christ? Do I believe what he says? Because if I believe that that's God, that God has come to us, that God is saving us, that he is the Messiah, but also that he is God himself, then again, I can't help but live my life around that, focus on that, put that at the center. And the other option is that Jesus has no part of my life. It doesn't enter into my worldview. It doesn't affect who I am. It doesn't influence how I live my life. But in many ways, there isn't a middle ground. Either he is who he says he is, which is God himself, which is Savior, which is Messiah, and I believe that. Or I don't believe that message. I don't believe that it's true. I don't believe that he is who he says he is. And this is the fundamental question that each of us has to ask ourselves. Who is Jesus Christ? Is he God? Is he the Savior that was announced? Or not? But it affects everything. And so, as we continue this Easter season, Jesus Christ, as he said, he says that you will not see me, and then you will see me. I go to the Father. And so, Jesus Christ is with the Father, but he continues to work through the church. He continues to speak through the church. He continues to act through his body, which is the church. And so let us ask for the gift of faith to believe this announcement, which the church is doing in our times, and that believing this news will affect how we live our lives. Keeping our eyes fixed on the promise of salvation, we bring our petitions to our merciful Father. For all bishops, priests, and deacons, may God continue to sanctify and purify them in their sacred ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those in positions of political power, may the grace of God enable them to truly see the needs of those whom they serve let us pray to the Lord. For those who are struggling in their faith, may God look graciously upon them and the Holy Spirit help them grow in truth. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all those of us gathered here through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. May we faithfully live the truth of the gospel in all our actions and interactions. Let us pray to the Lord. 
pray for all the students and especially for the graduates of Sacred Heart of Jesus, that they may enter into God's will for them. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have passed away, especially for Edward and Wilda Gerson, that they who have passed away in the hope of the resurrection may be welcomed into the victory of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. For all the intentions that remain in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. God of joy, hear our prayers today. We ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy. Every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Samuel, our Bishop, Jorge, his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
sacred silence, holy ocean, gentle water washing over me. Help me listen, Holy Spirit, come and speak to me, come and be with me. And speak to me. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God. To restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ. Increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food, through Christ our Lord. So as we did in the past, we have adoration on Thursdays. The difference is that we'll have adoration here in the church instead of the chapel in the parish center. Today, we'll have adoration until 6 p.m. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan, and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. <laughs> 